Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Victor and guess what? I'm back here in Turkey. I landed last night in Istanbul. So right now I am on my way to one of the main train stations here in Istanbul because my plan is to go to Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. But guess what? I didn't come on my own. I came with some company. Hey! Are you ready to go to Ankara? Definitely, let's go. So guys, we are going to be departing from so good to Çeşme train station. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this properly, but as you can guess, I don't speak Turkish. In any case, we are going to be going to Ankara from this place and we are about to buy our train tickets. So we are basically buying a train ticket uh, for a train that is departing in 7 minutes. And she's just writing down like all our details, you know, like of our passports and all stuff, so we are definitely not going to make it. This doesn't make sense at all. We have only five minutes left until our train goes, and basically Richard is still buying our tickets. Do you think that we're going to make it? Let's see. So basically it was a misunderstanding. We were told it was nine, but actually it was um, 9.35. So we got there. I cannot believe that we are starting the new year and I have already been twice in this country and the reason is because I love this lovely nation. This is going to be an amazing experience. I've never been on a train before in Turkey. Um, this is going to be exciting. Not many people actually go to Ankara, I guess. When people go on, on holiday to Turkey, they just go to Antalya, Izmir, Istanbul. But I really doubt that they really come to Ankara. Now it's time to show you the interior of the high speed train of Turkey. The toilet. Okay, standard. And I get back to this press card. What do you think about it? Lovely. A little I lighter. Guess, yeah, I guess that's <laughs> I believe that not many people get to have the experience to be on a high speed train here in Turkey, as they only link the cities of Ankara and Istanbul and other cities on the way. So guys, we just went to the bar because it is really hot and we need some like cold drink because we're really like boiling hot. Um, so the bar is quite cool and they actually have a whole boat just like for the cafe section, which is like quite impressive. So guys, here we are in the cafe area. We are drinking water because it was quite like, you know, hot. And we, we are still here. I don't know why it's taking time for us to depart. However, we want to say that these two bottles of water came to like 20 cents, euro cents. Um, from Madrid to Barcelona, the, um, the least you can pay is just like three euros for a small one like this, and for a big one, five. So I'm quite impressed. However, I have to say that the cafe area here on the train is rather interesting. It's much bigger than in other countries, in other trains where I've been. Uh, the nearest that I can think about is uh, the train that we were from Novosibirsk in Siberia to Tumen. Uh, so yeah, so we're now going. See you in Ankara. I have to say I'm quite surprised with this country. I didn't know that they had these lovely buildings, residential areas and all stuff. Istanbul is definitely a European city, regardless of what people say, and I would not be against them joining the European Union. I know that for the 99.9% .9 of all of you, it's going to be difficult to understand that yes, it snows in Turkey as well. Yes, it does. So you have to learn to live with that, guys. So guys, right now we are approaching the city center and um, we are quite 
we are really excited. So guys, here we are in Ankara railway station and uh, we've got minus four degrees outside. Uh, it's quite cold, so right now we need to go to our hotel which is not far away from this place because the main station here is situated in the very core of the capital. We thought that it was just convenient to do it that way. So, this is Ankara. And it's freezing. It's freezing cold. I don't think, um, I don't think we were prepared, but we have to wrap up warm when we get back to the hotel. So we just found our hotel, it's called the Hotel Iscale, I think you pronounce it like that. And it's just literally five minutes walk from the train station. Five star hotel, um, let's hope it promises to be what they said it was like. There is something I really cannot stand about many hotels and it is the fact that when you get there they tell you take a seat and then you have to wait for 30 minutes until they give you the keys. That is really bad. We are guys. Um, this is the hotel room. It's really spacious which is always important when you have a well, hotel room. Well, there are two beds and there is this sort of like um, sofa, something like that. Anyway, so this is the view that we've got from our balcony so guys since we had to wake up today extremely early and to come all the way from um, istanbul to ankara we've got only two plans for the rest of today so the first plan is to go and have a nice lunch and the second plan is to go to a nice spot to have a lovely massage because we are really naked and we really need it yeah, and now basically we have to try and postpone the appointment because it took like a million years just to check just in. Just to check in. Can you believe it? They're like, can you just please sit down? It's like, no, it's like, sit down with your mom. It's like, excuse me? How dare you? Exactly, how dare they? And of course, since we are in Turkey, we decided to have the speciality of this country. And we are talking about the kebab meat, which is absolutely tasty and delicious. This was a very big and pleasant surprise. We didn't know that we had tea and dessert included on the menu. It was absolutely delicious. I have to say that I couldn't eat anything else whatsoever. We just had like the biggest like lunch ever in the whole entire history of lunch. And the thing is, they kept on giving us things. Like they gave us some sort of yogurt, cold soup, something like that. Salad. Salad, then they gave us more bread. Then they gave us chips. And more bread. And, yeah, and, and then after that, to top it all, they even gave us a free dessert, like ice cream and some sort of like semolina cake. I mean, come on. And all of what we ate came to um, 11, euros. 11 euros for both of us. Something that is just a joke in the European countries. Now it's time to move on to our second plan of the day, and that is to go to the spa. So here we are. Here we go. Let's see if the place is good because obviously if the place is good we definitely need to come back here once again because the prices are extremely good. We will tell you all about it later. So basically um, they tried to sell us like a, a longer duration massage and we said yes simply because it's our first More expensive there. of course. And we're worth it, do you know what I mean? So um, it's going to come to 900 Turkish Lira. For both of us. For both of us. And um, down below you'll see the conversion in Euros. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. But you didn't say how long it is going to be. 80 minutes. Yes. So we are just under one and a half hours. So we are ready. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for such a long time that I really cannot wait. I'm going to have a nice massage. What about you? Well, I haven't had one for a very long time. Really? So, I think it's about time. Hey there. So, included in the price is a nice bottle of mineral water. Exactly, because we are paying 30 euros, so it's not cheap. Yeah, but it's very good for a, almost an hour and a half with the sauna and the hammam. I think that's a very good price. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 
So at the end of the massage, we had this mask put on us, and it's like it's like clay. Yeah, it, it feels as though someone is like sort of like sort of tied. Like, yeah, pushing my face together. It's very. How do you hard. feel? I feel a lot better. I really do. Uh, my massage was supposed to be like extremely tough, but I couldn't feel anything actually. So I'm kind of like. I'm joking. If you come to Ankara or any part of it of um, Turkey, you definitely need to go for a massage because spas here are just like amazing and for a very good price. And after washing our faces, we were offered a dessert and a drink. It's delicious. It's like some kind of like sweet rice creamy dessert, if that makes sense. Hello guys, good morning from Ankara the capital of Turkey. So today is going to be our first full day here in this lovely metropolis and we are going to start our day by visiting one of the most important sites in this city. In my opinion, the Acropolis of Ankara, which is the mausoleum of the founder of the Republic of Turkey and the first president of the Republic. I'm talking about Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. If I'm mispronouncing this, like I'm sorry, so because it's a very difficult name don't for me. me. Yes, don't judge me. This is also a museum where you can see lots of historical artifacts. And funnily enough, it's on the top of a hill. So you have an amazing view of all of Ankara from above. As Richard said, from this spot of the city, you can appreciate the rather impressive and modern skyline of Ankara. This is without any doubt, one of Turkey's most notable examples of modern architecture. The Artichuk Mausoleum sits high on a hilltop in Ankara the country's capital, designed by Turkish architect Emil Onad. The complex was constructed between 1944 and 1953 to be the final resting place of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder and first president of the Turkish Republic. Before the building was finished, Atatürk's remains were housed in Ankara's Ethnographic Museum. They were brought here to lie in state on November the 10th in 1953. The mausoleum complex is mammoth, with a grand staircase known as the Path of Anna, flanked by reclining Hittite lions. Leading up to the Court of Anna, where the mausoleum and the museum dedicated to Artichuk's life sit. Let me tell you that if you like general history, this is the place where you have to come if you come to Ankara, because that way you would understand a lot deeper the history of this country. So guys, we just got to the metro. We're now going to go downstairs, buy a ticket and go to the old town. I was really surprised when I found out that this metro line, M3, was constructed by a Spanish company called Comsa. This is so like the metro Barcelona. So guys, here we are right now in the old town and I have to say that Ankara is much better than what I thought. Indeed, um, they do have an old town, just rather interesting and um, it's just a big shame that tourists don't really come here to Ankara when they come to Turkey. They just basically go to Istanbul, Antalya and etc. But um, there are many interesting things that you definitely could see if you came here. One of the main reasons I would recommend you coming here is that the prices are much lower than in Istanbul and we are really shocked. Yeah, for, for those of you on a budget, for those of you who want to save a bit of money when you're traveling, come to Ankara. The prices here are incredibly low. I mean, we just went to a cafe in the mausoleum. We had two cups of tea and two um, like portions of um, baklava, like this Turkish dessert. And it came to one euro 40 for two of us. So guys, standing behind me is a really, really curious piece of history. This column was built in the year 362 AD in order to commemorate the visit of the Roman Emperor Julian to Ankara. It is midday and my stomach knows it. This means I have to eat. So we are going to have this lovely lamb 
And for dessert, we are going to have a typical Turkish tea with baklava. I have to say that I'm quite surprised. I never thought that we were going to see so many Roman um, ruins here, uh, you know, dating back from the Roman Empire. Uh, so first we saw uh, the column of Julian and now behind me we've got the temple of Augustus which was built between the year 25 and 20 BC after the conquest of Anatolia by the Roman Empire and, uh, and we still haven't seen uh, the ruins of the uh, Roman bath which are just like going over there. <laughs> we will show them to you later. Right now we are in the complex of the ancient Roman bath here in Ankara. All the things that you can see right here, they were uncovered by excavations who were carried out between the year 1937 and 1944. And the price to enter this lovely place is of just 12 liras, which is just under a euro. So that is a very good deal. Guys, um, not only do you have like examples of what Roman baths used to look like, but you've also got a lot of um, gravestones from the Roman era on display. And I was having a little look at these gravestones and um, there was one that I particularly liked and I looked at it and I saw some like writing. So I sort of got a bit closer and it said Mustafa was here. And it's like, for goodness sake guys, respect historical artifacts, respect history and culture. Um, it's really, really bad when people like do graffiti and, and um, desecrate these historical artifacts. Welcome everyone to Kisilai Shopping Walk. Today we decided to start our day right here. In Kisilai you can find from souvenirs to luxury goods. This is where many come to shop. Kisilai is situated in the core of the city. Therefore, its streets are always crowded, with a lively and energetic ambience. Right now, I had that moment when people cross, you know, that street like um, Japan. Shibuya. That one. <laughs> I actually felt like if I was like going through that street right now. It's really nice. So we are going to go inside this like uh, shopping centre which is um, named um, after the name of the street, which is Kisilai. And we are going to see what we can find inside. Maybe a nice cappuccino because I'm really Oh yes, yeah. Now. I definitely recommend you coming to Kisilai. This place is full of so many things. And right now, I really want to taste some coffee. So we are going to go to the top of this building to get a nice cappuccino. So guys, right now we are approaching the most important and most beautiful, I would say, Mosque of the city, the Koji Tepe Kami. And uh, this mosque is just like so beautiful. You can actually see it from every part of the city. And um, it is really majestic. So if you come to Ankara, this is one of the places which you cannot miss whatsoever. I would like to share something with you. The only country in the world where I visited mosques, it's been Turkey. And I have to say that from a architectonic point of view, I love them. And I admire the fact that people come here to meditate and to pray. climbed 
up some stairs and we came to this lovely galley area where you can see the mosque in all its glory and beauty and um, there's a real sense of like art and um, design. Divine, yeah. I would say as well. It's really, really nice and um, it's a very sort of welcoming place. You know, there's it's no, very, there's nobody that's in my opinion, come in, here. in my opinion, there is a very heavenly sensation. Wow, this looks like the cosmos. Exactly. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Sokoto Zoo. Today we decided to have breakfast in this very fancy district and it's extremely cold today but we want to show you all the lovely skyscrapers around us. As you can see, Ankara has a really modern and beautiful trade centre district with the avant-garde style of today's contemporary architecture. We thought that this was the best place to come and have a nice cappuccino and a croissant. If you like to go shopping, then definitely this will be your place. I am really getting Moscow's vibes in this place. Moscow has many shopping centers like this. And I have to say that I am really surprised and impressed with Ankara. So guys, this is the impressive view you can have from the terrace of this shopping center. There are so many high rise buildings surrounding it that you can actually feel like if you are like in any modern ancient city or like in North America. It is really impressive and most definitely I don't regret having come to this city because I'm getting this like glimpse of a uh, metropolis and um, it is really nice. So you definitely cannot miss the opportunity to come to Ankara if you happen to have it in the future. So guys, right now we are going to go to the city centre because today we would like to have some sushi for lunch and um... The thing is we've been eating too many kebabs and exactly. things like this so we feel like some Japanese food. I have to say that kebabs are really tasty but when you eat them every day you definitely want to eat something completely different and this is what we are going to do today. So, no Turkish food whatsoever. We found this Asian restaurant in the centre called Asian House. I have to say that we were quite surprised because, I have to be honest, there is not much of a choice for international food in Ankara. So, for us to find this restaurant was like a real oasis in the desert. As for the ramen we ordered, it was absolutely tasty, really flavoursome and I have to say one of the best ramens I've ever had in my life. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same about the sushi. It was really bad. I'm sorry, but I have to say the truth. Hello guys, good morning. So today is our last day here in Ankara, unfortunately. Therefore, we decided to come to the coolest place here in the city to have breakfast. And I'm talking about the other coolest shopping centre. But of course, what could make this shopping centre very special? that tower over there. This is very similar to the Space Needle in Seattle. I really want to go to the very top to have an amazing view of the city. So let's go. I have to say that despite the fact that Ankara is not as historical as Istanbul, this city has proved to be really dynamic and I really like it. It's got so many places where you can go and chill out. Richie was saying that unfortunately we were not able to go up to the tower because it was under renovation. However, that was not a problem because you can have a lovely view to the city from any of the cafes in the shopping centre due to the fact that the place is situated on the top of a hill and you can see almost everything. Within the shopping centre there is this lovely cozy cafe where there is a really nice ambience and the views that you get from this place are just surreal. 
It is really magical to be overlooking these snowy mountains, the pine trees, the skyline of the city with a nice cappuccino in your hands. That is a really nice experience. So guys, our last point of this um, tour in Ankara is going to be once again the old town. We would like to go to one of the most like interesting museums here, which is the Museum of um, Anatolian Civilizations. So they basically tell you everything that has to do with like native tribes prior to uh, the Romans and the Ottoman Empire and etc. It is really late now. We've got only 40 minutes left until the museum closes and uh, we definitely need to do it otherwise we are not going to be able to do it all because we're going back to Istanbul tomorrow we made it yeah but my ticket didn't work in the machine and I really was, like, trying to get through the so for two people it came to 100 uh, liras three euros each that's not bad at all welcome to one of the most interesting museums here in Ankara the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations if history is what you like, then you must come to this place. This museum has artifacts from different ages, such as Paleolithic, Neolithic, Chalcolithic, Bronze Age, and many others. We were astonished when we saw artifacts dating from 6,000 years ago. And it was really nice to see what people could elaborate without our modern technology at that time. That is really impressive. So guys, unfortunately we have come to the end of this vlog in Ankara. We would like to thank you for watching this vlog and uh, please if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to give us a thumbs up. We will really miss Ankara. What we liked most of all were the people and of course the food but mainly the people. Ankara showed us real friendliness, kindness that's and true. We were very happy every single day. And I would like to say that if you have any question about the city, about where to go and all stuff, don't forget you need to write down below in the comments asking about anything or regarding the city. Any questions for us as well. And I would like to say that remember, uh, Turkey is not just Izmir, uh, Antalya, and Istanbul. There is plenty of places that you can see apart from those beautiful cities. So, see you next time on a new video. Till next time.